Hey, what's up? Hello, doers. I'm Jose Ignacio, and I'm back with another tutorial video. In this one, we're learning about gamification, a very cool feature that lets you set sales objectives to challenge and reward your sales teams. Now, gamification is an excellent tool for motivating your sales teams and giving them transparent goals. Now, here at Stealthywood, the legendary company, our salespeople do excellent work. But they do even better when they have goals to strive for, which is why we love using Odoo's free, and let me repeat that, free gamification feature to set goals for our sales teams. I mean, it's free, so why not use it? You might as well. Now, the most common indicators used to evaluate performance are volume, for example, the number of new leads, sales orders, and customers you get, amounts meaning the total dollar amount of products sold or invoices paid. And the last one is progression, like the time it takes to qualify a lead or to close a deal, measured over the course of days, weeks, months, years, any time span. Now, since gamification lets us set goals based on these key performance indicators, it's a great way for sales managers to evaluate salespeople's performance and follow up on their progress. Now, gamification also makes goal setting fun by creating dynamic challenges and awarding customizable badges to employees who meet their goals. It's like virtual swag, and who doesn't like that? So let's jump into Odoo and see how this works. All right, so here we are on our Odoo dashboard. Now, the first thing we need to do is install the free, free gamification module. Now, go to apps, and you want to delete that apps filter and you're gonna search for gamification. Now, I already have it installed, but this is how you would get to it. Now, in order to configure gamification, you need to be in developer mode, so please check out the documentation if you haven't already on how to activate developer mode. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do next is you're gonna go over to your dashboard and you're gonna go into settings. And now that we're inside of the settings app, I'll see a menu item at the top called gamification tools. Now, in here, let's start with defining our sales goals. So we're going to go over here to goal definitions. Now, in our case, Odoo has all of these goals configured by default. We love saving you time as our customers. Now, when a goal is completed based on the number of records, that means it measures volume. Now, when it's based on sum, it measures monetary amounts or progression. Now, let's customize one of these goals to fit our specific needs. So we're going to click on total paid sales orders. Now, right now, this goal is set to measure the number or volume of paid sales orders. But what if I want to measure the dollar amount of sales orders? You know, it happens. So in that case, I want to measure it so that I can set my team's goals as a monetary value, like 20,000 per month, because we like to start big. Now, first, I need to set the computation mode to automatic sum on a field. And once we do that, we just hit save. Now, great. Next one up, I need to set up a challenge for our salespeople. So we're gonna go back over here to our gamification tools and we're gonna click into challenges. Now, once that it loads up, here's a dashboard overview of all of our challenges. I can group by users to see my challenges organized by a salesperson. And we can do so by going over here and there you go, very convenient. Now let's create a new challenge with the goal we just customized. So we're gonna go up here and hit creates, challenge name, monthly paid SOs. Now if I want to create a challenge just for one particular person, I could assign the challenge to and do it like this. And this is pretty important if you wanna, let's say, pick somebody who you wanna just see exactly how they do. Now, but let's say I want to assign this challenge to an entire sales team. I could set it to, and clicking back over here, I want to make sure that teams is plural, by the way, in this case, you know, and that it contains everyone there. Now, this will assign it to every member of my U.S. sales team when I ensure that the word U.S. is included. Now, I'll specify when and how often this challenge occurs. We do this by selecting how periodically it will reoccur in our case. We're going to do monthly, our start date, the first day of the month, and our end date, the last day of the month, because we like to give our salespeople the full month. 
Now for the goal definition, I'll choose the goal that I just configured. Total paid, sa oh, total paid sales orders. Sorry, that was a little oh doopsie right there. And set the target to 20,000. And we do so by just going over here to our goal definition. I'm gonna add a line and we're gonna type it out. And we're done. I get add as many goals as I want to this challenge. In case I wanna make it insanely difficult, but we'll keep it simple for now. Now the reward tab is where I choose what badges my salespeople will earn if they achieve their goals. Now, if I, let's assume I click for every succeeding user, here's a list of all of the badges that I currently have configured. We could customize these in our gamification tools and badges section, which I'll quickly demonstrate in another tab, just so you could see it. And there we are, gamification tools, right click badges, open them up. Now here's our badges. We can of course create new ones or edit these three existing ones that Odoo gives you by default. Now here we can edit the badges name and description if we click directly into it like this good job badge. And we can change what it looks like and even grant it directly to someone by just clicking this grant the badge to somebody. And isn't that rewarding and simple? Now you can get really creative here and make these badges fun and exciting for your employee. You want to make sure that they feel like they've earned a badge that they are worthy of. Now when someone earns an award, the badge is shown publicly on their Odoo profile. Okay, but we're done here. Now, for everyone who succeeds in this challenge, I'm going to give them the good job badge because every succeeding user deserves to be told they've done a good job. And in this advanced options tab, we can also set up notifications to update participants about their progress in the challenge because it's good to know, you know, once a week in you know, did I get it? Did I, did I, am I closer? And a lot of these types of questions. Now, if I click over here on the report template, a little pop-up comes up and on the report template, we can configure the email that gets sent to the challenge participants. And this is important says, since you can see how Odoo's default template comes with a nicely formatted leaderboard. And in our case, the monthly challenge progress. Now I'm gonna click into the email configuration tab. And here we can also choose which email address this message is sent from, as well as who receives that email. Everything looks fine here, then we're gonna hit save. Now that everything looks good in my challenge, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up and we're gonna hit save again, start challenge. Now once I start it, I'll see this related goal smart button pop up now. And if I click into it, I can actually see the Kanban view of my challenge with a progress bar for each participant. In this case, the two people on my US sales team. Now I could also view this as a list just by clicking into the list view, total paid sales orders, and I could see the progress bars as well here. As my team members process paid sales orders, these progress bars will go up. I can always come back here to check the progress of my challenges. So that's all for this video. But be sure to go out there and reach your goals. Because remember, it's so do, not oh don't.